here we're going to dig into some cd lamb versus aj green um what you'll notice is that i really didn't really um care about how many receptions that cd got in this game it's not really about that what i'm doing is analyzing what these two young men uh, were able to do when they lined up against each other so that cleveland browns fans and dallas cowboy fans know exactly what they're getting or at least uh, get a remnants of what they're getting in these rookies it's a good matchup uh lamb runs great routes you see he gets bracketed here uh, but he runs great routes he's very aggressive he fights at the top of his routes um you know Hurts didn't do too bad himself um you know he's, he's more of a runner than a pocket passer at this point but he delivered when he can deliver a pretty good ball uh, when he has a clean pocket anyway um, I like this coverage here. We'll probably look at this twice. You see how this linebacker buzzes underneath CD right here. It takes away anything hot that he might have. Uh, that free safety is taking away any slants, posts, or digs um, that that CD might try right there. And then you had AJ Green playing that stat coverage over the top. I'm just trying to show you guys how much attention he actually gets in coverage, which opens it up for everybody else. And you'll see here the ball doesn't go his way, even though he's still managed to give um, Hertz an opportunity here or a place to throw the ball by pushing off there but um you know it hurts is already looking elsewhere it's, it's better real estate elsewhere you know so um we'll look at that again though just to, just so you can see what Hertz is looking at and how difficult it is for him to stick with his guy because right now he's looking he's staring lamb down and you can see that why that linebacker is underneath him right there already uh, and then he's going to look over he's going to see that free safety kind of wheeling in there you're going to see it from his angle uh right now all right so you see there you can see him right there so he knows like he quickly recognizes that he knows he has to go to the opposite side of the field um again we we still you know pay attention to the fact that you know there's nothing anywhere else that he can do um the only opportunity and i'm not sure why that corner is bailing so much against the running back i really don't even know what he's doing at the top of the screen because had had he kind of played that a little tighter there was nothing hurts can do uh, with this ball uh, other than run or take that sack or wait and there was these are all button hooks we this looks like scott linehan's offense right now <laughs> real shit but um yeah um everybody was coming back to the ball so there was really nowhere for him to go had he waited um this is all run into space uh they they like to do this with lamb a lot we know all about the jet sweep we see it all the time uh you can see how many players are on the opposite side of the screen and once they hike the ball so Right now, Lamb, I thought he can get a touchdown here, but he just didn't know that 26 was going to knock this guy over. Had he taken an outside trajectory, he might have had a little bit better chance of getting free there. But still, good play, and you see what they like to do. I like this play from a defensive perspective because I'm a defensive-minded person, and I can tell that this defense communicates based off of the motion here and the way they went about it. Like, a lot of defenses can't really do this in the NFL, and this is a college team doing it. As soon as 14 goes in motion, three i like number three whoever he is he's a smart player but he wrecked that's their free safety i'll look into his name after this excuse me for not knowing it but you see how he flashes down to the flat there now that 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 free safety that that's now all that got his plan is in his position is just floating back he doesn't know he doesn't have anything to do uh, aj handles his guy and then that linebacker jumps inside of lamb he knows exactly where lamb is and instead of sticking his hands out he sticks his hip and his feet out so it looks like incidental contact and you see that <laughs> and he knocks land right on his ass but um that's good defense i like how they went at him aggressively uh you know I, I mean i would like it if my guys did it so i can't say it's cheating you know what i mean it's just is what it is but um here again you see aj at the bottom of the screen and press um he's he's handling his guy without any problems no assignment you know too much for him anyway and uh right now hurts is taking that extra step and because he does that he throws his own timing off between he and uh lamb so he doesn't have time to get that ball in there uh, maybe he would have but uh yeah he didn't have time to get in there due to that here lamb is really just running like a decoy route uh well really they're running a choice route they're trying to see what this safety is going to do number 31 so they're reading him and it looks right now to hertz and lamb like he's going to follow lamb but he doesn't that safety is pretty smart but uh he, he came right up uh, and he he recognizes what they were trying to do to him and he just r keeps running right underneath it. But he bends in just enough to make them think that he was following Lamb to, so he can release this ball. Almost gets himself an interception doing that. I like how he plays. Um, yeah, the ball should be out right now to Lamb. But uh, Hurts is just, he's hes more of a rusher. Like He's more of a running quarterback. He, he holds the ball a little too long and sometimes he misses opportunities. Um, 
you know, prime example right here. This is an opportunity for a big play. Uh, Lamb recognizes it, but Hurts is not really on the ball here because they're all converging on Hurts, um, the safety, the corner. They don't know what they're doing. Uh, so Lamb gets a free run. Nobody covers him, and uh, Hurts doesn't even see it. I know that kind of, you know, kind of pisses him off, but, um, you know, that happens. It happens every day, B. Uh, Dak was doing that a lot to Dez that first year, man. Had to make a video about it, actually. You know what I mean? But anyway, um, Lamb and and AJ. I think AJ's tackling is top notch. I think Lamb's um, r- route running is obviously top notch. His hands are great. Um, his aggression. He's stronger than he looks, even though he's only like 198. He's pretty strong. Um, here's that. Here's that. That safety again. I just wanted to show you like number three and number 31. Both of those guys were playing pretty good. These safeties for OSU are they're damn good man look at this hit boom whoever this kid is like i like him he's an animal but um either way yeah you know proud of him big shout out to the young kids that's out here doing what they're supposed to do um here's this uh offsides here you see this offsides you see that uh lamb was open but uh hurts did the right thing here he he saw that offsides he had a free play so he went for the gusto uh and and threw it to the end zone it was a it was a good route uh it was open it's just Again, hurts. He holds the ball a little bit too long, and he overthrows these these routes. He he's not really good with anticipation as of yet. Uh, on this particular play, you'll see once again Lamb just steps off to the left, and when he does it, he takes four people, five people with him, and because of his li- the alignment that trips left that they had him aligned in, you know there wasn't really anyone over there to stop that run. Uh, here's Lamb. They're running the space once again. Uh, he's going to take a pretty good hit here at the end of that, but um. You know, I think this is the last clip that we're doing too. Make sure you guys like and subscribe as well. This shit, call me a racist, but I don't mean nigga in a disrespectful way. I, I mean it as a general term for ignorant motherfucker. Anybody of any race could be an ignorant motherfucker.